Welcome back everyone to another video from SGP Media Service. I will be your host, Rick, the stuttering designer. In today's video, we'll be talking about, are you open with new people about your stutter? To be honest, I never really thought about disclosing it or not disclosing it to people. But if I had to choose one, I guess over the years I have chosen not to disclose it. As I mentioned in some other videos, I've, I've been stuttering ever since I started to talk. While in elementary school, I would encounter new kids. I really did not want to show them my stutter for the fear of them laughing and teasing me. It made me a shy kid. Growing up, I guess I continued doing the same thing, hiding my stutter from others. Because some people can be just mean, and who likes to be laughed at and teased? It's not fun at any age. While looking for a support group for my stutter, which I have never done before mid-2018, I've learned that some prefer to disclose theirs and others prefer not to for their own reasons. Some people in the group might provide reasons like it helps the other person to understand what is happening with you, which I can understand. My approach or thinking is different from me I have three different reasons why I might not disclose to people that I have a stutter. Number one, to me, the obvious reason would be not to provide them a chance to think of me as a freak, but also to provide them a chance to judge me on the way that I speak. Why would I ever want to empower them to do that to me? Number two, throughout your life, you will interact with people. Some people many times and some only once. So what is the point of providing them that personal information about yourself if, if you won't see them again? For instance, you're walking down the street and someone asks you, what time is it? Number three, lastly, I just figure they will figure it out on their own. Also, growing up, it has always taken me longer to become comfortable talking with others face to face. At times, I still get a little nervous talking with family and or old friends. Even more so talking on the phone. My mom has mentioned before, isn't it easier to talk to someone on the phone than face to face? Because you don't have to see them. And my reply would be, no, I stutter even more. If I had a choice between talking to someone face to face or on the phone, I would choose face to face only because the fear, stress, stutter, and struggle would be a little easier. I remember when I was younger filling out my first job application. One of the questions was, are you disabled? No. Yes. If yes, please explain. My grandma was helping me to fill out the application. I questioned if I should mark yes or no. She didn't want me to mark yes because she didn't want me to think of myself as being disabled but rather think of myself as being normal. 
because my struggle wasn't something that could be seen. For instance, a person who is in a wheelchair. But stuttering is different. You can't always tell until the person starts to talk. Because not all people who stutter, stutter the same way. And stuttering cannot be turned off or on. I leave you with this question. Are you open with others about your struggle? For now, that's a wrap. I am the Stuttering Designer. Please like and subscribe. It helps our channel. Thank you for coming along on this journey and see you in the next video.